Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine if you're new here and as you can see from the title below I'm sharing with you guys my hijab story. This video has actually been highly requested and I've never really sat down and explained when I started wearing the hijab or my general story. I've talked about it here and there on Instagram or in like past Q&A's but I've never given you guys like the full tea, you know what I mean? I decided to sit down and tell you guys that today. So yeah. Let's get to it. So when I started wearing the hijab, I was 12 years old. I was in middle school and yeah, I've never taken it off since. Alhamdulillah, my love for my hijab has stuck with me all these years. But what sparked my passion and love to start wearing the hijab has definitely been duksi, which is Quran class. Um, it's pretty much like going to classes on the weekends. We used to go Saturday and Sunday mornings. For those of you guys who are not Muslim, it's like Sunday school basically, you know, for us in Islam. So I used to wear it every weekend to Quran class and it's like every morning, I used to get up and get so excited to put my hijab on for Quran class like words cannot describe guys how much I would look forward to the weekend and put it on you know okay so to give you guys some context basically a huge part of why I started to wear the hijab and my love for the hijab definitely had to do with my older brother at the time my older brother used to volunteer with the Ma'alin and the Quran classes he used to also lead Taraweeh prayers at the mosque and all that stuff like we were only two years apart mind you so very close in age but I used to really look up to him and like he really started to develop this intense love and passion for the deen and Islamic studies and learning the Quran. So witnessing his love for the deen and seeing him, you know, going ahead and volunteering with the Ma'alins and the Islamic teachers and, you know, taking such leadership roles at the mosque. So I wanted to get more educated as well. I wanted to learn more as well. I wanted to find that love that he found with Allah as well. And I feel like the hijab was such a huge step in that direction of me building that connection and love with my creator. So basically, you know, watching my brother and seeing his knowledge continued to grow I decided to you know talk to my mom about the hijab so one day after uh, Quran class I sat down with my mom and I said mom you know I really love the hijab I don't want to only just wear it on the weekends like I love it so so much so since I was such a young age it's not like I started to go and do research on the hijab and the meaning behind it because I was so young right but I knew in my heart that I was starting to develop this love and connection to it and seeing my brother you know get more educated about the deen and every day you know he would be coming home and he would be telling my mom what he learned or he would have islamic lectures on all the time inside our home even in the car we were listening to a lot of scholars and everything so it's like i was hearing more and more knowledge through also my brother's studies and also going to put on classes on the weekends, right? So that played a huge factor in my general decision. So one day when we came back from Quran class, I sat down with my mom and I said, you know, I really don't want to only wear the hijab on the weekends. Like I want to wear it permanently. I love it so much. I want to just keep wearing it. I get sad when I have to take it off. So my mom, you know, she was very excited. She was very happy. So she sat me down and she taught me. That's when I really learned the importance of the hijab what was the reason behind us muslim women wearing the hijab where it came from why allah ordered us to wear the hijab and basically she took the time to really teach me the significance of it and then my mom pretty much laid down the line that if you want to start wearing the hijab this is not something to play around with it's a huge step and you cannot just dilly dally with the hijab you can't just put it on one day take it off the next day put it on one day take it off the next day if this is something you want to do you got to take it very seriously and have a lot of respect for the hijab and I was like, okay, yeah, still want to do it. So she's like, okay. And then my mom took me to a hijab store. I got like few colors of hijabs and I was so excited. And then my ayeyo, which is grandma in Somali, was just like so happy. She was like, oh my God, you want to put on the hijab and everything? And like, you know, she was giving me hugs and kisses and she was so, so proud. My brother was so proud. My mom was, everybody in my family was just so proud of me that I wanted to put on the hijab. I was so excited. I started looking at like YouTube tutorials of like how girls put on the hijab and stuff. But then that was too complicated for me so then I asked my mom to get me just like the two-piece hijabs and I was like let me just chill with that <laughs> 
I wasn't about that pin life yet. You know, I was still young and I didn't want to deal with all those pinnings and everything. So I just decided to stick to the one piece or two piece hijab that a lot of, you know, young kids wear basically. Yeah, that's pretty much how I started to wear the hijab. Now, the funniest part of my hijab story that a lot of people wouldn't expect is the fact that my mom was not a hijabi at the time. I know, shocker. I feel like a lot of the times people assume about you know Muslim households that girls don't have a choice, that their parents force them to wear the hijab, that they become like oppressed into the hijab. But that wasn't the case. Like I developed the love of the hijab naturally on my own. And even if you see a young girl wearing the hijab at a younger age, like I have cousins right now who are like, you know, a lot younger than me when I started wearing the hijab. And it's because they see their mom wearing the hijab and they want to be like their mom. Do you get what I'm saying? A lot of the times when people have those stereotypes and taboos in their head of seeing little kids wear the hijabs too, you gotta understand like the same way you might have wanted to wear a skirt like your mom or you know, wanna have highlights like your mom or wanna put on lipstick cause your mom put on lipstick. A lot of Muslim girls growing up wanna wear the hijab because their mom wears a hijab. They think it's part of being a big girl. You know what I mean? They look up to their mom. They wanna look like their moms. So I just wanna put that out there. <laughs> went into a little side note but for me in my case like my mom was not a hijabi so it's not like I saw that it was only my grandmother that was the hijabi in the whole entire family you know what I mean even though my mom wasn't a hijabi her connection to the deen was very very strong she would not play if we didn't know our Quran homework she would make sure we were praying fasting doing everything that we had to do Islamically and I remember when I became a hijabi we had parent teacher interviews like a little bit after I think it was like a month or two after and my mom came to the school and like my teachers were so shook <laughs> at me coming in with a hijab and my mom was not a hijabi and they're just like what is this is jasmine adopted like <laughs> like my teacher told me the next day she actually thought i was adopted or she thought that was like my older sister or something that wasn't a hijabi a lot of the times a lot of people didn't think my mom was my mom they thought she was my sister because my mom had us in her 20s so a lot of the times people thought she was my older sibling they didn't think she was my mom so alhamdulillah a little while after that my mom went ahead and put on the hijab as well so we were just hijabi gang together and we started watching like hijab tutorials together starting to see what hijabs look nice on our face shapes you know it was so much fun it was like a girl bonding time for us i remember my biggest milestone for me as a hijabi was my mom going to dubai and coming back with like a huge suitcase full of hijabs and it was like all these beautiful pinks purples blues shimmers orange anything like any color any print any design you can think of my mom managed to grab that and i had like the hugest hijab collection and i just used to walk in the hallway like yes guys new hijab every day it is what it is <laughs> Like I felt so excited and so confident and happy with my hijab and then I remember I used to get even more confident with my hijab because like kids used to come up to me and be like, oh my god, where'd you get your hijab from? Where'd you get your hijab from? And I was like, my mom got it from Dubai, sorry, it's not of this country you cannot find it here i was feeling like even more excited to wear my hijab it's so funny and i remember one time when i was at school when i first started wearing the hijab a lot of my classmates obviously when i came into school the next day were like shocked you know when they saw me wearing the hijab they're like oh my god jasmine you're wearing the hijab blah, blah. and i remember my group of circle of friends <laughs> didn't want to hang out with me anymore can you guys believe that guys like they didn't want to hang out with me anymore one of these girls i remember she was literally like my best friend at the time and we were walking in the hallway and she literally said to me and mind you this girl is muslim herself which had me so shook she said to me she's like oh i can't be seen with you in the hallway because of like what you're wearing on your head and i'm thinking you know i would expect that from like you know a non-minority non-muslim person right but like from a fellow muslim person i was just like and for me, Alhamdulillah, I was not one of those kids that was emotionally like bruised easily, if you get what I'm saying. Like, I just looked at her and I'm like, well, I don't want to be walking in the hallway with you anyways. You can keep going. No one wants to walk with you anyways. <laughs> I was like, I didn't care. Like, I was just like, okay, bye. Like, that's just how it was. And I remember at the time, some of my friends were just like, oh, you have such beautiful hair. Why are you covering all that nice hair? You don't need to wear hijab at this age. Like, you're so young. Why are you putting it on now? Like, you have such nice hair. You used to dress so nice. And I'm like, I didn't used to dress so nice. I do dress nice. I have beautiful hair, but I don't have to show it to you guys to love my hair. And I love my hijab and what? That's literally how I was as a kid. Alhamdulillah, I feel like I had a lot of confidence. And I think that stemmed from the fact of 
my mom sitting me down and giving me that whole talk about where hijab derived from, the reason behind us wearing a hijab. Like I was super confident in it because my mom educated me about it really properly. So you couldn't come to my face, you know, with some, you know, dumb excuses as to why I want to take it off because I'm like, no, I'm really informed. I know why God wanted me to wear this hijab. I love it. I'm happy with it. So why do you care? Like, why is it bothering you? You know what I mean? So after that, I feel like Alhamdulillah, it was such a good thing that I was no longer friends with those people because I developed true friendships and we stayed friends all the way until high school and I met people who were a lot better for me to associate with anyways because a lot of those people didn't really end up going into the direction of life that I wanted to anyways so alhamdulillah I feel like Allah exposed them for who they were at a young age so I could dodge that bullet that's all I can say always take a sign for when God shows you someone in their true colors just go with it okay just go with it so basically that's what happened alhamdulillah I didn't really experience like a lot of Islamophobia or anything like that because I don't feel like Islam Islamophobia was as intense at the time that I started wearing hijab as it is now. You know what I mean? I feel like it started to get really more crazier in my last two years of high school. Yeah, I think it just took a lot of people some time to get used to it. And then after that, it was not that big of a deal. So alhamdulillah, I feel like my hijab story is actually my favorite just because I feel like it's so unique to a lot of traditional hijab stories, you know what I mean? Because I feel like me and my mom developed our love for the hijab together. That's what I feel like makes it so much more special. And yeah, that is pretty much how I started to wear the hijab. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. And if you are thinking of wearing the hijab yourself, but for some reason are having some reservations, just go for it, girl try it you never know so go ahead and share your hijab stories in the comment section below make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it also make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the family it would really mean a lot to me if you do and like always i'll see you guys in my next video